Shan in blue and pink and Thomas Rainwater in the light blue and red sleeves. So away we head for our last event, the Trust to Trader Open Maiden National Hunt Flat Race. And out in the lead, the Grey Nelson Shadow, one of the first to show with Ben Solo in the red and blue colours. And on the left-hand side, Gaz Marni. Just behind these, the market leader, Tishan, in the blue colours with the pink hoops. Uh, then the big white face of Sawdust, the unusual markings. The uh, chestnut with the white under the saddle on the inside of the well-supported Thomas Rainwater. And Impecunious behind these, early on, Swift Jet, Jacob's Acre. And last of all is Peacenick as the runners make their way right-handed and uh, continue their progress down the side of the race course. So early on, it's Nelson Shadow, the grey, who races on the outside of Ben Solo. Gaz Marnie closer to the running rail in third. Tishan in the blue and pink colours just tracks the leaders early on. They are quite well bunched. Sawdust is towards the inside, racing on the inner of Thomas Rainwater in the blue with the red sleeves. Wider out is Impecunious. The back of the pack we have the likes of Swift Jet on the inside of Peacenick as the runners continue their progress, the 11 of them, down the side of the course. Gazmani on the inside and Ben Solo have just moved on now from Nelson Shadow, who's still right there in third place, the grey with the noseband. And then we have Tishan, who races on the inside of Thomas Rainwater and Impecunious, and on the outside of Sawdust, three links back to Jacob's Acre. And the last two on the inside is Swift Jet and Peacenick just taking the slightly wider course held up by Gavin Sheehan as they continue their way now into the back straight and they'll run downhill. So we're heading now towards the final 11 furlongs to serve the contest. Ben Solo just has a narrow lead now under Jonathan Burke racing on the outside of Gaz Marni with Nelson Shadow in third. Fourth belongs to Tishan just ahead of Impecunious on the right in the centre, the noseband of Thomas Rainwater and the inside Sawdust. Then behind these, we have Jacob's Acre with Peacenick and Swift Jet is towards the back as well. So they've completed the downhill run and now we'll have a steady climb for the next half mile. Out in the lead, Ben Solo on the outside of Gazmani with Nelson Shadow, Impecunious and Tishan completing the front five. Thomas Rainwater on the outside of Sawdust, then Jacob's Acre in the black with the big white collar and the noseband, Peacenick and Swift Jet is the only one really to be struggling to any degree. Peace Jet just being ridden along Swift Jet at the back by about two lengths off the back end. So Ben Solo, Gaz Marni, uh, Tishan just makes a place on the inside of Nelson Shadow travelling strongly, shadowed all the time by chief market rival Thomas Rainwater, sawdust up the inside, then Impecunious as Nelson Shadow in that front group is ridden along. Progress from Peacenick, right up on the outside, white and red, then Jacob's Acre, and again, it's only Swift Jet, although amongst horses, Nelson Shadow being ridden, that are struggling. So out of the back straight, down the side of the course, Ben Solo with Gaz Marni, Tishan, Rapid progress was made by Peacenick right round the outside in white colours. Impecunious comes off the bridle. Thomas Rainwater is keeping himself right on the heels of Tishan with sawdust on the inside. Then behind these, Jacob's Acre. And uh, they turn out of the home or towards the home straight. One that's weakened now is Impecunious to join Swift Jet and Nelson Shadow. So this leading group is now down to seven. Gazmani in the blue sleeves on the inside of Ben Solo. Peacenick comes next with Tishan still travelling strongly. A sawdust towards the left-hand side. Then behind horses Thomas Rainwater just beginning to angle out with Jacob's Acre. And it is these seven as they make their way up the home straight with round about three furlongs to go. Tishan on the left-hand side moves forward to get on terms with Gazmani. Then Peacenick towards the outer. A sawdust is still plugging on. At this stage Thomas Rainwater hasn't been able to pick up but Tishan has travelled really strongly throughout here. Peacenick is giving it a good go in second place as the two begin to pull away from Sawdust, then Gazmani, but Tishan has readily extended three lengths clear here. Peacenick is giving valiant but vain pursuit. Sawdust in third and Tishan making light of the conditions here. Looks a nice young prospect, a winning pointer for Paul Nichols and Johnny DeLahaye will follow up on Rules debut in style and draw Harry Cobden level with Sean Bowen on 121 winners for the season. Peacenick is in second place, Sawdust in third place. In fourth was Gazmani, then Noble Acre and Thomas Rainwater. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.